how many calories is is a fairly common question how many, how much should I eat and the the issue is for many people that they don't have a framework of reference of of what it is they're supposed to eat because they know how many sandwiches they're supposed to have or how many slices of pizza from experience but they don't know how many pints of blueberries and they don't have a model to follow and so basically you gotta eat what you always ate the average man eats about a million calories a year but he never counts them but he eats pretty close to a million calories a year or he gains a pound or he loses a pound every 3500 calories representing a pound and, and so within that million he stays pretty close the average lady's eating about two-thirds of that and if you're athletic you eat a little bit more but the numbers don't really change whether you're eating cooked food or raw food you just have to eat enough food to maintain your weight the sources on 80 10 10 are primarily fruits and vegetables that's where the bulk of the calories are coming from is from fruit the bulk of the volume is coming from vegetables and between those two they make up the bulk of what we eat we'll eat some seeds or some nuts or some other items if they wish they certainly can you can eat whatever you want on 80 10 10 as long as you stay within the prescribed relationship or the ratio that we call 80 10 10 where more than 80% of your calories are coming from carbohydrates. Um, if you want to be a raw 80-10-10, then you don't cook your foods, and, and this tends to leave out the complex carbohydrates, uh, which I've spoken more of in grain damage. If you don't wish to eat animal products, then you're looking at a vegan version of 80-10-10. I believe that the, in terms of ultimate health, the best you can do for yourself would be the 80-10-10 raw vegan version, but um, people may decide to go different ways with that. If they stay within those ratios, they're going to reap the benefits that are according. The more we eat fruits and vegetables, however, the more we're eating the foods for which we are designed. We understand as, as intelligent human beings mm -hmm. that rabbits eat rabbit food and cows eat cow food and lions eat lion food and pelicans eat pelican food and people are designed to eat people food that's not hard to understand and our natural food the food we would have eaten in nature for millions of years dental records prove beyond shadow of doubt that for millions of years human beings survived and thrived and lived to succeed to this day on a diet of primarily fruit with as much greens as they cared to eat Basically, you eat enough fruit so that you don't get cravings for sweets at the end of the meals, you don't get cravings for heavy foods at the end of the meals, you don't get cravings for sweets and refined sugars in between meals, no chocolate, candy, alcohol, or even dried fruit, because you're eating enough fresh fruit to meet your sweet needs. You're not even getting cravings for complex carbohydrates because you're meeting your carbohydrate needs through the consumption of fresh, juicy fruits. Uh, at the same time, if you're having any cravings for salty foods or, or crunch of that kind, then you need to eat more vegetables. And eat enough vegetables so you don't have cravings, eat enough fruit so you don't have cravings, eat enough fruit for calories to maintain your weight. You eat some, somewhere between, for most people, between 1 and 5 percent of your calories coming from vegetables, which might end up to almost half the volume of what you eat in the day. but in terms of calories, two to three or four percent of your calories from vegetables is more than enough.